Would you continue to pray with the way that she prays? Thank you. Father, we give you thanks this morning. There is nothing, nothing better, nothing more beautiful than resurrection. New life. And Jesus, we thank you that you offered yourself that we might have that new life. We give you thanks for every life that is being changed yes. around these altars, around this cross this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that none of this is by accident. You've spoken, you've moved hearts, you've brought people together for this purpose, Lord, that they might know your love. So, Holy Spirit, we thank you now that you are speaking to every heart. We thank you for the new life that is being birthed. We thank you, Lord, for sin being washed away. We thank you, Lord God, for chains being broken for freedom coming to hearts and lives. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you right now are touching these hearts and giving them the assurance that they belong to you. No longer alone, no longer separated, no longer lost, no longer alienated from you, Lord, but received, adopted, loved, belonging, belonging at home, finally at home. So we ask now, Lord, that you would settle that assurance in every heart that you would give them, Holy Spirit, that promise, that assurance, that confidence, that peace of knowing that they've been forgiven, they've been brought back home. We just ask now, Lord, that you would silence every lie of the enemy, that you would guard their hearts and their minds, and that nothing would be able to rob them of the truth of what you've done today in their hearts and lives. And that you would birth in them even now, Lord, the awareness of your love, yes. that you would birth in their hearts the fullness of your love, that they would know that today they met you, yes. and they don't ever have to be separated from